Well, hello, my name is Sharita Carter. I am a senior creative producer here at Walt Disney Imagineering. I'm responsible for leading teams that actually produce the attractions that our guests get to experience. So we are always looking for ways that we can improve and make a better experience for our guests, and technology is at the heart of that. Congratulations, you did it. You programmed BB-8. Now I think we're ready for something harder. Let's go for it. Now that you've learned the basics of programming, we're going to go back in time to build your own game, starring R2-D2 and C-3PO. To make a game, we need to learn about something that game programmers use every day. They're called events. Events tell your program to listen or wait for when something happens. And then when it does, it performs an action. Some examples of events are listening for a mouse click, an arrow button, or a tap on the screen. Here, we're going to make R2-D2 move up to deliver a message to a rebel pilot, and then move down to the other rebel pilot. We'll use events to make him move when the player uses the up-down arrow keys or the up-down buttons. We use the win-up event block and attach the go-up block to it. When the player presses the up arrow key, the code attached to the win-up block is run. And we'll do the same thing to make R2-D2 move down. To do this, we'll use a command called winup. When you drag the command out of the toolbox, you'll see that it starts and ends with a curly bracket instead of a semicolon. This gives us space to put other commands in the middle. Every command we put in these brackets will run when the player presses the up arrow. We want R2-D2 to go up, so let's put a go up block inside the command. And we'll do the same thing to make R2-D2 go down. Now, instead of writing all of the code to control our droid in advance, we can let R2-D2 react to button press events that move him around the screen. Step by step, your game is getting more interactive.